Danish military says it's staying close to Chinese ship after data cable breaches. Reuters. Stockholm. Reuters. The Danish military said on Wednesday that it was staying close to a Chinese ship currently sitting idle in Danish waters, days after two fiber optic data telecommunication cables in the Baltic CW. Air severed. Chinese bulk carrier Yi Peng 3 was anchored in the Kataga Strait between Denmark and Sweden on WED. Nest day, with a Danish Navy patrol ship at anchor nearby, marine traffic vessel tracking data showed. The Danish defense can confirm that we are present in the area N. 00. Below are your comments. We need to harden everything, the old lazy trusting ways of recent times have come to an end. We need to fortify our position, minimize disruption, behave as if the war is a foregone conclusion. Or we will pay the price. Why would Chinese bulk carrier be anchored on open seas in Danish waters and not in some port? Isn't that strange that ship stays idle instead of delivering its cargo? What is the cost of idling a ship and crew even just for one day? It is in Danish right to border and inspect. Of course it was Russia. The days right after allowing long-range missiles to be used by Ukraine. Left Russian port, likely with specialists of some kind, to sabotage the lines with an anchor or wit. HA submersible loaded at the Russian port. China is working on sabotaging with respects to Russia. We all know that. I think Sweden's military should sink the Chinese ship. Cutting undersea cables is definitely in China's playbook. They've done it several times to Vietnam and Taiwan. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.